Welcome to Tech Brothers with Amir. In this video, we are going to learn how to select distinct data or different data from a table in MySQL or MariaDB. So let me show you how exactly distinct uh, work. Um, uh, first of all, we will be creating a table called customer with the column ID, customer, first name, last name, age, phone number, date of birth, and gender. Here, I'm inserting some values here. So first name, Raza, last name, Ali, and the 39 is age. This is a phone number, and then a date of birth, and the gender. So I have created a few of the records. If you notice here, this record is a duplicate record. So I'm doing it by purpose, so I can show you how exactly distinct work. Let's uh, insert data into customer table. Okay, the table has to be created first. So we are gonna go ahead and create the table. Table is created, now we will insert the data. To select all the columns uh, from uh, customer, what we do, we say select asterisk from table name. Okay, so in this case, uh, we are selecting asterisk from customer. That means we want to select or see all the columns uh, from a customer and uh, with the, all the records. Uh, we don't have where class to filter the records. Um, here, uh, you can notice that I have some duplicate uh, values. Uh, so there are three armors here and uh, in the first name. If I would like to see the only distinct or different values for the first name, I can use uh, distinct here. So distinct first name now it should give me only unique values so it will let's say these are three duplicate values it will show one value because we are looking for different values so when we say distinct it means different from each other so it is showing you those values now same way you have option to add multiple columns so let's say last name so now the value will be distinct according to first name and last name together so you notice that here we have this uh, record that is duplicate uh, by first name and uh, last name. So there would be only one value shown uh, from uh, for these two records. Uh, okay. So if there are total seven records, we will see total uh, six records here. You can see that uh, Amir Shahzad is uh, displayed only one time. Even uh, in the table, uh, we have uh, twice. Uh, so when you use distinct, it will show you the uh, different values, uh, unique values uh, according to the columns what we are selecting. Uh, one of the other thing, uh, if you notice here, uh, we have uh, null values here in the last name. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and uh, say select distinct from last name. First, let's uh, do without distinct. Okay, last name and uh, take a look on these values and here you can see that uh, we have uh, um, uh, some values and at the end uh, there are two values they are null uh, no, you can notice from here we did insert the uh, null values uh, now if I will use a distinct here what will happen it will show me only one null um, so it is considering uh, null is equal to uh, also null uh, in a real world uh, actually null is not equal to null uh, so null means unknown one unknown uh, unknown is not equal to another unknown but anyways uh, when uh, you use the distinct uh, if uh, you have multiple null values it will show you only one time so let's go ahead and insert it sorry select it and you can see that now it uh, uh, showed us uh, only the different values uh, from our, from the column uh, last name. Now, uh, this uh, how you are going to use this uh, distinct uh, again. So you will say distinct uh, and list of the columns or uh, whatever. So in our case, so uh, we said first name, last name, age. So whatever the column you want to add, you can always uh, add in the list. Uh, if you want to select for one column, you can select for one and uh, or uh, if you want to select for all the columns that's also possible you can do that as well so select uh, distinct asterisk uh, then it will show you the unique record across uh, uh, the entire table so all the columns in that table but in this case uh, as we have ID customer that's a unique and uh, that's auto increment so it is going to show us uh, all the records uh, uh, if uh, now, there would be no ID customer here then uh, it is it, it would have uh, removed these uh, values and show us only one record uh, instead of showing uh, the these uh, two duplicate records um, now with the ID 3 and 4 it's making them uh, as a unique or different from each other okay so thanks very much for watching this video I hope this will help and I will see you guys uh, in next video